so you had plenty of time to play Bazak, as I was 90 minutes late today due to oversleeping. That's correct. How's Bazak? I've been watching the computer cheat its fucking ass off for the last hour. Like, you mean like in every single fucking gambling game in every game ever? It's pretty blatant and disgusting. However, as you can see, I've started beating him regularly, so we now have up stakes. So that's nice. But it's still horseshit. I feel like the reason why you. This is kind of a weird thing to say. So. Everything in Bazaar. That's the result of, like, many games. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. I. Bazaar, every single card of your opponent is seen to you. So I feel like cheating is so much more That's obvious. Not true. You don't see there are pluses and minuses. Oh, you don't? No. So the whole time. You're just- you're just going, oh yeah, of course you have the exact number for that round, every time. Oh, the exact no. number you need it to go up, sure. It's horseshit, and Plague warned me about it, and the more you play, the more you see, it's completely just like, no, this is artificial difficulty. You're like, I'm on 19, and he's on 12. But you can still play in a- in a smart way, and, uh, I did manage to- I'm not crushing it, but I went up more than I went down by the end of it. Because once you acknowledge, basically, every time you assume you're playing them, they're gonna have 20. So you just you just have to assume it's gonna hit 20 most games, as opposed to not hitting 20 And if at you're all. not 20, go, get 20. Somehow. That's it. That's it. Just, like, straight up. Though, don't expect your 19, your soft 19, <laughs> is gonna be fine. Because, yeah, a 19 is soft. Fucking assholes. It's fucking weird, man. Uh, anyway, so, um... We... That's why card counters aren't allowed in the in the casino. No. So yeah, we did our thing. And we, uh, we, we got our star map. And we found the guts of the hero. And... We, um... Pretty much found out everything that we needed to about this place. And I'm just about done with this planet in terms well, of... Well, did we kill all the Mandos? Um, I think we killed a bunch of them. Uh... Was well, you, you can look at the, the little... Yeah, the killing the Mandos was, um... Here. And I mean... Mm -hmm. I guess that means there's more. But, like... Yeah, fine, alright, fine. Let's go back down there. I'm just... I'm just about done with this planet, though. Well, I'm, you haven't even been here... Like, three hours. I know. How can you be done with this planet so fast? Yeah. It's, uh... It's fine, it's just, you know... I mean, the planet that... It's really all... an afterthought planet, it feels like, compared to the others so far. So you're gonna have a fun time later in the future whenever you talk to people about KOTOR, and you're gonna notice something. What well, you're gonna notice that, unless they're talking about how to acquire Jolie, Kashyyyk's just not gonna come up. Yeah, yeah. Because what, 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 uh... Um, blah, uh, what, um, I guess I, I, I realize what annoys me the most is this is a planet where there's pretty much zero places where you can quick travel back to the Ebon mm -hmm. The entire time, you cannot do it. You have to run the entire map, and that on its own, just getting back there to play Pazak from where I was, is fucking infuriating. It's a waste of everybody's time. It's and because the planet is so dangerous. Actually, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's because you see that loading screen that has to load so that the, you can, the extra trees like that You can't actually uh, uh, Skip that cutscene for a while a good couple seconds So I assume it's loading in this bottom of the planet map and that means you can't skip back to the Evan Hawk Even though they could just throw a loading screen like they usually do. I don't know. No, it's so know. dangerous I don't know why they don't do it, but that's what we get so Shit is that way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just shit is 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 getting a little bit long in the tooth. We're long in the claw, huh? Because of the... Because of the Rondo... What are they called? Mad FF10? Claws? Oh. Ronzo? Really? Ronzo the Ronzo? Tribe. Ronzo? That's awful. Well, Rondo is an actual word. Mm -hmm. It's some kind of cake or something. Yeah, Kimari and the big push. I like I like how my, one of my favorite things about that, in particular the LP, was bringing to mo bringing to light behaviors that we are people did not were not aware of about these characters. It just didn't click or didn't stick.
Like, yeah, we know Waka's an asshole, but did you know he's a huge racist asshole? Yes, I do. I So, I remember that vividly. Okay. And did you know that all Kamari does is push people? Like, that's most of his fucking action and interaction with Titus? I'll be, I'll be really honest. I don't remember Kamari doing anything ever other than... Jumping down on Besaid Island. Yeah, that first time. And having a cool CG cutscene. He's a great design. I don't remember him talking. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I remember him, and I remember his cousins stopping us on the mountain. And I'm like, I just fought fucking um, Seymour. Yeah. What? What are you to me? I, uh, I remember seeing that character's face in the artwork and screenshots of the game and, like, thinking, like, man, that's a badass. I really hope we find out more about him. And as, and as much as you do, you don't, he's not as big of a role as I was hoping he would be for such a cool design. Oh, he's the weird, like, you, you ever play FF6, Wolves? Uh, not really. Okay. Well, this, uh, this, this example is going to somewhat fall on, on deaf ears then. Uh, but there's a, there are a bunch of fucking weird ass beast side characters that you can get at the very end of the game. Like Umaro and Gogo, which are a Yeti and a Mime. And it, Kamari feels like, what if we took one of those weird not talking beast weirdos mm. and put them in the core party for the whole game? Mm -hmm. He's even resented that way. Uh, isn't there also a... Um, I mean, he doesn't fucking speak. Is it, is it, is it, am I thinking of Chrono Cross, or maybe I'm thinking of FF9? There's one of those games where there's another huge beast animal face man. Okay, well... And you're like, oh shit. What Chrono you Cross about? has like 80 uh, yeah, playable yeah, characters. They've got infinite. Thus, none of them matter. Sure. Also, they are all garbage. Every single one. Every <laughs> single one. Let's not talk about that awesome battle music, though. Oh, all right. All right, so we got some Kinrath corpses. Ooh, does anyone buy those? I have no idea, honestly. Um, one thing that I have uh, received a, a pro tip, which is that if you want HK to be a little more active, you can put him on his uh, the uh, script that allows him to use his flamethrowers and shit. Oh, yeah. Um, that would be a good idea, actually. In fact, uh, I believe I was shown... A, um... Yeah, okay, so... Would it be Grenadier? No, it'd be Jedi Droid Support. Droid Support. Okay. They will use their equipped droid utility items. Yes. And then I want to make sure he has those. Yeah, I did see that same tip as well. So he has a stun ray That's a and a shield tip. disruptor. Um, I, he doesn't have a flamethrower. Because I have it currently on... On T3. So I'll have to pull it off of T3 first. Also... The next time we go back to T3, apparently those Mandalorian pistols are a billion times better. Yep, than I saw that message too. And it's like, how did we just look at the numbers and just math it wrong? Because mathing wrong is an easy thing to do. Uh, I think I'm going to... I'm fucking bad. I'm going to grab those pistols and throw them on. Who the fuck is that guy? Uh, wait, are we... No, no, no. Did I just get turned around when I did that? Oh, no. Not wait. really. Yeah, this is new. This yeah, is who the fuck is that guy? Undiscovered territory. Are you a Wookiee? Yeah, man. Yeah, you're a Wookiee. Hey, it's Frere! Frere! It's kind of important that you found this guy. Nice. So, dude's a little pissy. He's almost feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Frere. We are friends. Don't you remember me? After years in the Shadowlands, all I remember is how to be racist. I'll kill you. Yeah, I'll fine. fucking kill no, you. Yeah, kill everybody. I, I understand. Well, this may prove difficult. All right, use the force. Ah, oh, damn it. I guess we gotta kill him. All right, well, down you go. Down you go. Let's just, uh... I've yet to see that ever do more than a single swing. Hmm. All right, let's slow you down. Put on some of this. Ooh, what is blowing up there? Is that... Something. Is that T3s? Uh, not T3s. Is that, uh... Fucking! I have no idea. No, it looks like it looks like Frere threw a grenade at you guys. Okay. Yes, that is exactly what that looks like. Okay. Damn. All right. Buddy. After years in the Shadowlands, all I remember is how to use grenades. Oh shit! He's down. Yeah. All right. But see, Pockets is doing 70-ish damage per swing. Yeah. 
so. Oh, Joe Lee's fucking dead. He's super dead. There he is. Oh, Joe Lee. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> so swears for Kashyyyk. Shundar sends his regards. No, relax. I can't believe you outsiders. It's because of that whole slavery thing. It's somewhat tainted my perspective. Do you know these two? Yeah, those are my boys. What are you talking about? Tell me about my boys. My sons. I feel. Uh, my name is Pockets, and I'm with them. Zalbar's cool. Oh man, he was exiled and got big slavery. That's horrible. Oh no. Life dead. No, I'm not a slaver, man. That sucks. What? Oh, you must be really cool, Pockets. I will listen. Even though I have no proof of that. Yeah. If it weren't for the lies of the fuck, I he would have been exposed. Salbar wouldn't have gotten out. Oh, I fucked it all up, man. I didn't believe Salbar. Because, you know... Like, honesty is built entirely on who's the eldest in Spooky Society. Yeah, that seems to be correct. That seems like a system just built to cause this problem. For a second I was thinking, oh man, we're missing out on dialogue with Big Z, but then I realized, wait, he's- He's, 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 he's captured. captured yeah. But no, think about that. Imagine a, a situation in which one person is always believed over the other. Wouldn't that always cause a situation where there's no reason to tell the truth and you can just do whatever you want? Someone is always believed over the other no matter what, or just, are you saying based on? Well, I'll say, you, you're, are you older than your brother or are you younger? Younger. Okay, imagine a situation in which your parents, or by some law, always believed your brother in yeah, every no argument. What, yeah. what reason would he ever have yeah. to tell the truth? Exactly, exactly. Like, this, this system is busted, Frere. Yeah. Why does he want you dead? Well, now that Zalbar's back, perhaps he's worried that uh, people see he's a big liar. Shindar's established himself as the leader, despite the tragedies. Maybe your system is garbage. Yeah. Maybe it smells like taint, like you. If it had been shown that he conspired with the slavers that are in his house right now every day... <laughs> back to my other questions. I will answer, and then I will ask you a favor. Brush my taint. Please. Use the- use the afro pick. It gets in there real good. Zalbar saw it. He learned that Chundar was dealing with the Zerka. Led them to the- uh, to the parties. Big, big parties. Yeah. Chundar. Wait, oh, you, oh, the Shadowlands are so dangerous! And Zalbar went nuts. As he would do. Yeah, you get to go nuts over that. You attack uh, Chundar with that. You attack Chundar with his claws. I thought he had gone fucking crazy. So basically, this Chundar is, this, is the race trader, huh? Yeah. Like, like in the most literal term <laughs> yeah, possible. That you can actually. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, so when did you learn the truth? A year later. By then, Chundar had spread lies of that I was crazy. And when I confronted him, everyone thought I was crazy. Weren't you the leader at that time? He was. How does that work? He and his Zerka guards attacked me. I had to retreat, but even there they followed. How does the current leader get usurped in a system where the leader gets to do all this crazy shit? That's when I first saw him. I don't get that. I anyway. His pursuers lose it for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Yeah. I'm, yeah, whatever. I remember you. I... I, uh, I've been nuts for a while. So yeah, because the influence you exert as being the tribe leader, one would assume that he had it too, so why would it not- why would it work no, as, so here's, against him at first, his, and then- his, his dialogue came off really goofy, but I think what he's saying is that, okay, Shundar is like, man, dad's crazy, I'm so sad, he's got wokey Alzheimer's, yada yada yada. To everybody else. For like a year, right? Yeah. As a result, that doesn't- Chundar never confronts him directly, publicly in the thing. Instead, it means that when Chundar and his Zerka dickbags attacked him, 
uh, Frere didn't really have any friends that still wanted to hang out with him. Yeah. So he was on his own. Yeah. It wasn't like a part of the system. It's right. just like everyone just kind of backs off. And then slow, and then secretly behind his back, he's just like, oh man, feel bad for my old pop. He's losing his mind. And then that sets up the, oh, dad got disappeared because yep. so nuts. Yep, 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 got it. This does bore me, but what happens now? <laughs> That would depend on you, Pockets. You'll either kill me or decide that I may yet benefit my people. Well, you are kind of old and crazy, and you smell like dementia. But- It's a good smell! Yep. You can smell it in your poop. I could challenge Chundar! It would take a lot to convince the people they've been lied to. Fuck your race. You're really- like, this is doing- the opposite of what the set, the, the the Tuscan Raiders got. Oh right yeah, now, a little they're bit. like, oh, Wookie politics are fucking dumb. Uh, He's got a pretty strong web of lies, but if I go all traditional, the thing that caused this problem in the first place, I might be able to gather support. Are we solving a Klingon problem right now? This is 100%. This is a Klingon problem, 100%. right? 100%. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's let's do it. I need the sword of Kalex in order. Like it's 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 one hundred percent stupid assholes. It it well it's it's this. I like warrior shit, but fuck. It's man. this goofy thing that um is kind of like constructed a blade from the wreckage, symbolized independence and leadership and yada yada yada. So this is a really bizarre thing for me personally, and that's because I'm a human that lives on Earth, but. The idea of a sacred item being a piece of technology exactly. is totally baffling to exactly. me. That's the weirdest shit. Welcome to uh, the first of many of Young Wooly's questions about, Hey, so you said the Bible, there's a flaming sword being held by the angel at the Garden of Eden? That's dope! Why does the angel at the Garden of Eden hold a weapon that was created by humans for human hands? In the year... Zero. It's not even. Like, like no, zero, <laughs> zero before zero BC zero. Yeah. Like, in the year not Also, year. don't angels have six arms and six legs? Actually, in the year minus six, six thousand. All that really crazy are. shit, why oh, would he have four, a, minus four thousand, a one handed four thousand sword? BC. Yeah, why, what, what's with the, the hilt and the blade and the, the, the all the, the, the engineering that went into the human invention of the sword? You're telling me that this, this otherworldly being was holding it and it was on fire? And the answer is, because it looks cool. This scavenger sword looks stupid. I'm, I'm not liking it. I'm afraid not. It was a symbol of our great chieftains for centuries, but it was damaged a little while ago in a ritual battle. See that ancient sword that we use for our traditional, like, it's a sacred item? We still fight each other with it like assholes! What? Rothrar fought the great beast. He saw the challenge, but he got fucked. Yep. Good job, Rothrar. Yep. Survive, but the blade stayed in the creature's hide. Our tales say it was taken because we had become undeserving. Oh, that's like the sword stuck in the dragon that you gotta go kill. Yeah. Hilt still in the court of our chieftain, with Chundar. If the blade could be found, tradition could cast doubt on his rule. Oh man, I hope the numbers on this sword are garbage. Oh, they're so bad. <laughs> you just get to objectively compare it to your current weapons and be like, your legendary worship blade is ass. What's up with that? How come it's ass? Describe the creature. Many have tried to hunt the beast, but only a few have lived it to see the cell. It's crazy. I killed a crate dragon. None have ever managed to kill I it. I killed a crate dragon. You oh. know the thing that was so intimidating that a Darth was named after it? Hold on, we're talking about how a Jedi got fucking killed. Oh. Let's let's set the tone appropriately for your character specifically. Yeah, the beast is cunning. It will not appear if there's an overwhelming number wanting to slay it. Gather in small numbers. We can load it out. You mean like in a party of three? Uh, Fresh blood will get- That's why you got the fucking corpses. Yeah. After Chandar's rule put an end to the ritual, and fresh kills were left as offering in the south of this area. Fresh kills. And you still think you're worthy? No. But I mean, I'm better than a fucking slaver. Right? Oh god, your race is fucked. Your race is so fucked! Ah, I'll try to find it. Can't I just say the first half of that sentence, really? Just this bores me. The great beast is to be lured out, then go to the south. Yes. Put the bodies down south. 
Yeah, okay. You have already collected the body. This would be very tempting. Find a way to display it. Okay. Okay. I'll stay here. I yeah. now I can't like this whole time and I'm like, your culture's stupid, all I can think of is is Waka just fuming that fucking Yuna is like a quarter albed or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that is that no, is no 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 no. It was her saying, Don't tell Waka. <sighs> because if he tell if you tell them, who knows how he'll react. It was bad. So what's the deal with Riku? How does that even work? Oh, she shows up and then she and then he's like and then basically Titus is like, get rid of all these clothes. Don't tell Waka where she came from. He's like, who? What was going on? She mixes potions on the field. And then you, and then, you, <laughs> and then you get the, the, the they finally show up midway through the game and they yank uh, Yuna off the boat and that's when the race war started. Oh man. Um. So all right, uh, I really thought I was gonna kill him, but he's a tank, so that's fine. Um, although his life is gonna permanently be down there. I suppose. That's cool. yeah. Until until the their society is restored. Uh, wow, Wookiees are fucking just... Oof. Oof and woof. Woof is correct. Um, you take one of these. You there you go, HK. You hold that for now. Alright, where, where have we not looked? South. The, I've ignored the area immediately to the oh, left. Oh, what was that? The pip on the bottom left there? That is where the star map is. Okay. So around there, there's... The, that, that left side seems to be Mando Central, and the bottom yeah. right side seems to be... Plot central. Yeah, so let's swerve this way and see what we get. Off we go. Um, yeah, man, it's kind of reminding me of those, uh, like, the. Oh, uh, dead end. Yeah, every once in a while you get a passage that's talking about, like, oh man, these ancient, like, hymns that used, like, the harp and the, 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 the lute and all these, like, old instruments. And I'm like, you mean these human instruments that we super invented for our hands that are the perfect size for human beings? Wooly, I know that you're trying to go all meme heavy for humor, but could you not? This is very disrespectful. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> To spit mad truths. Oh, man. Oh, it's funny. Well, it's actually just coming from conversations that I literally had. You know, way back when. Just, like, can you explain? Dangling vine? That's how you would display the body. I would save the game. The ship vine ascends high into the canopy above. There is no indication of why its growth has stopped at this point. The vine beneath is stained by years of blood, suggesting that freshly killed animals have been suspended from the vine many times in the past. This is the spot. This is the fucking murder spot. Stab your son right here as a sacrifice. This is a good one, right here. This is a good spot. Just kidding, don't stab your son. <laughs> there's so- there's this- <laughs> Oh, that was There's- great. there's this fucking- Don't do it! There's this fucking image macro that just has, like, God's face on Lucille Bluth. Just going, yeah. I love all my children uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care for Joe. Yeah, I don't care for Joe. Oh, man. I did see that one. It's- Oh, Bible memes are the best. And then, put those fruits down and, hey, I mean, put the lamb down. Where'd you come from, lamb? I don't know, but we got a barbecue going. Hey. Now we got a scoop. Delicious. It'd be pretty sick, though, if you killed an animal, put it on a fucking pit, and then fire just dropped down and barbecued that shit in front of you. You'd be like, yeah. That'd be All the right, best. that's... That'd be the best. But then it would go, like, well too, well too cooked. You'd be like, fuck, man, come on, God, I like it- I like it well done! I like it medium rare! Every- every steak in heaven is well done! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You want that rare I shit? I want the blood, man! You know where you can go! <laughs> You're gonna eat well done meat. The fucking- the, the entire Lucifer split with the Heavenly Host was about steaks. Oh, no. Uh... There's movement in the distance. You can hear rustling. <clears throat> oh yeah, brother. Is that a goddamn raccoon? No, it's not a raccoon. No, it's just a ritual beast. And it looks really cool compared to all the other yeah. things in this game. I, I I appreciate those textures. I appreciate. Yeah, that slime. 
Yeah, it's fine. All You're right. probably going to do best by just th uh, throwing down your, your night speed. No, that's what I was doing. Yeah, and then just getting in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to leave night speed up, and I was going to probably... I was going to shield up, maybe. But no random... No, no. Uh, that'll, that's only going to work if you have a melee shield. Alright. Ooh, he's running. Oh, boy. Uh, you need to get pockets out in front right now. Guys. There we go. There we go. Look at that damage. Oh, he's glitching out. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Apparently, I don't really need to queue up regular attacks. Yeah, they're going to automatically go. Oh, this is not nearly as difficult as I was led to believe, Rare. Your warriors are dog shit. Wow. Oh, he's spewing gas. Find the blade of some sort. Wow. Skin's just grown around What a it. huge big legend that was super worth it. Glad you guys worshipped that shit for fucking centuries. Oh man, that's that's crazy. Who knows how long it lived with this injury? Oh, uh, we you moved the braid. We didn't you moved the braid. Removed the braid. Yes. yes. We uh we didn't fight it at full power. Oh, that's all. Must be that big symbol. Now apparently a Jedi got murked around here, so there might be a Jedi corpse somewhere in this fucking zone. How infuriating must it be to like be under the? Oh, why can't I not move there again? To be under like the fucking um. What is it, Star? Oh, Good Han's journal. Let's read that. To shit. be under that Star Trek rule, where it's like you can't bother the Prime Directive. Yes, the Prime Directive. Yes. Where you can't bother like like civilizations and shit like that, and you're like, you guys are so stupid, and so, so helpless, and we could make your life so much better. But fine. You talking we'll be about respectful? Well, okay. So are you talking about that in relation to Star Wars? Are you talking like what Trek? Okay. But, yeah, because the. But in this case, I'm looking at Wookiees going. Well, here's the problem, right? If you so, if you take that rule and just transplant it into fucking Star Wars, everything just smashes to pieces because the Prime Directive has a really specific set of criteria for what counts as an advanced society. And number one, almost every time, is do they have uh, interstellar travel? Sure. Right? Because if they have interstellar travel, it doesn't even really matter how advanced they are. They're gonna run into you. Yeah. Right. But in Star Wars, everyone has interstellar travel, no matter what their level of primitiveness. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Well, in Mass Effect, it's like we landed, we go, hey, what's up? And you go, oh my god, are you a god? And we go, no, we're normal. And check out all these other normal weirdos from other planets. And you go, what is happening? And you go, it's cool. Come with us. We'll take you to this cool place. And you go to the Citadel. And then what? Cut five, fast forward 50 years. And your whole planet is like, oh, yeah, cool, man. We're that is not how that happened with any of those races <laughs> ever. <laughs> that, that, is, that goes down. That might be the wrongest <laughs> lore poll you have ever made. Oh. No, the, the in Mass Effect, the way that it works is because the way interstellar travel works and because mass relays are the only way to travel, what happens is race discovers the mass relay in its solar system that then connects it to the network that then yes, has them what, talk to, to aliens. That's what it was. The only difference right. is the Asari, who yeah. were the first people to hit the network. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone, it's like, as your race progresses to the point of hitting a relay, then you join. That's true. You're super right. <laughs> I was I was going on the... I, I made some bullshit up completely. Maybe the All right. Krogan were different. Maybe they found the Krogan and used them for war frogs, but I'm not, it's unclear. Well, it's kind of like the internet already... Imagine if we logged on for the first time in, like, the mid-90s, and then it already existed. In its current form? And the whole inter and the whole galaxy was using... Or the whole universe was using it already. Yeah. And they had websites up, and they're just like, Hey, man, click here for bigger dicks. And you're like, what? No, nah, man, click here for bigger, bigger tentacles. Yeah, and that was the whole thing the whole time. That, Does that your race not have tentacles? Too bad. Check this shit out. The mass relay is proof that your race is now ready for huge, big porn ads. Uh, <laughs> back a ceremonial blade. <coughs> damaged with the arrogance of the blah, blah, blah. Later, dubbed to the great beast. Oh, that was really good. Um, the hilt remains, yes. Yeah. Both pieces could be found, yada yada. Who are you? Uh, uh the remains of a... What? Data pad of a... Tarantatek. On Kashyyyk. That's what it was. It was that Jedi murdering fuck. That beast that they told you about on Dantooine. Yeah. That was a Tarantatek. Yeah. So is that what I just killed? Yeah, you killed it in like two seconds. Oh, the Jedi killing beast? That's correct. Well, shit. Wow. Okay. All right, so what, anything else? What was he doing on Kashyyyk? Yada, 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 nerd, nerd, nerd. Durin and Shayla have given in to their passion and are doomed to fall to the dark side because they're boning. Love is going to ruin you. 
I tried to warn side. them against love, but they called me arrogant and accused me of being on the dark side. I left the fools on Corbin. What How a bunch of nerds. How can something so pure be evil? I'm not gonna- I'm gonna destroy them Terran Tatex. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Fucking dead. Mm. I'll, sh I'll go to Kashik and slay the beast. Mm -hmm. Proving I don't need Durin or Shayla to defeat these creatures. Well, you're an idiot. Well, you're dead. Can I find your lightsaber? Well, maybe deeper in, or whatever. Maybe.